Hey guys, what's up? It's Trent with Bully Barn. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit on a part one video of shoulder set and shoulder angles. All right. And this affects the uh, reach and movement of the dog. And that's why structure is such a big deal, guys. And there's not a lot of this stuff out here. So bear with me on my poor illustrations. Uh, I tried to draw the best I can with these markers to kind of show you guys what we got going on here. And uh, so I will kind of walk you guys through this really quick. We got some of my stuff coming off. All right, so first off, I just want to say that the dog carries 60 to 75% of the weight on the front end, um, as well as the whole entire front assembly is not attached by any joint or any socket or anything like that. It is all attached by muscles, tendons, and ligaments, guys. Um, so we've got a picture here, a little illustration of the dog's fronts, front legs, okay? And these are uh, the bones here of the upper arm. So this is the upper arm. The yellow is the scapula. And the relation between the red upper arm and the yellow shoulder, okay, that, the relation between those two bones is going to dictate a lot of your dog's front shoulder set and your dog's uh, front shoulder angles, all right? And we're basically, go, basically just going over what the correct shoulder set and the correct shoulder angle is. And what shoulder set is, is where this shoulder sets on the rib cage like these are ribs guys see the rib cage here okay shoulder set is how far back so if you drew a line right here that went through the point of the shoulder and the point of the shoulder is where the humerus and the shoulder come together so that's the point of the shoulder right there at that joint okay so if you drew a line right down through the point of the shoulder there, okay, and then from that line, like say you've got a little meter here, okay, you go 45 degrees this way, and that's where the shoulder should sit. So if you got a, if you got a picture of your dog or a picture of somebody else's dog, and it is hard to read this, it's hard to measure this, guys. If you've got a picture of your dog from the side sack, draw a line, Okay, a plumb line perpendicular to the ground. So a straight line all the way down through the point of the shoulder to the ground. Okay, and then from 45 degrees, if you held a pencil right here at the point of the shoulder, it should be 45 degrees, boom. That should be where the shoulder set, the shoulder layback should be. And this is the degree of the shoulder layback. Okay, so this is supposed to be a 45 degree all right same thing with the distance between the end of the humerus and this line so if you did the same thing if you turn it upside down all right and you went 45 degrees that's supposed to be in line with the humerus uh, which is the upper arm okay so We'll just write 45 right here, too. And I'm just trying to explain to you guys how this works, all right? So, basically, you've got a point A, or we'll just do this. Point A, point B, and point C. You've got three black dots there, all right? So, they, these ought to make up a 90-degree angle right here. So, if you went through the center right here of the scapula, the shoulder blade, to the point of the shoulder, and then you went to the point of the... Uh, humerus down here at the bottom of the at the bottom of the upper arm this should be a 90 degree angle boom right there 90 degrees okay and one line this one line here is 180 degrees right so if you have a line and you put a line through it there okay this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees so 90 plus 90 is 180, all right? So that's 180 degrees. So you got 45 degrees 
until you hit the uh, upper arm. You've got 90 degrees until you hit the shoulder. And then you've got 45 until you hit the line again. All right, just to kind of show you guys uh, what the correct shoulder layback and stuff is supposed to be. Now, uh, another big thing is the length. The overall length of the humerus is supposed to be an equal length to the length of the shoulder. All right. And this stuff is, it, it gets a little bit complicated when you're trying to evaluate these dogs. And this is what the judges do. When a dog is at a side sack, not only does that judge have to, you know, evaluate this dog's front assembly and, and take an account and, and look through the skin, look through the tissue, look through the muscle, everything. They got to see through that dog to see the bone structure that's there and look for structure. And this is what they're looking for, okay? So they're trying to eyeball and look and evaluate. And there's no, there's no measuring tool for this. There's no exact way to measure angles on a dog. Um, so basically you've got to do your best to look through that dog in a, in a side sack position and, you know, evaluate and estimate and guess those angles. Um, and they'll have to do the same thing with the rear end of the dog. So as you're breaking down a dog, that's what you're doing is you're, you're seeing those angles and stuff of the dog and, uh, correct shoulder set and length of, of humerus and length of the scapula that all comes into play with movement and reach and even even a top line you know it helps your front your front uh, assembly you know stand up nice and high at the withers um and uh the same same goes for forechest and we'll talk about forechest in the second part of this video but i just wanted you guys to know okay so when you're looking at a dog you'll be looking at them at the side and when you're looking at bone structure the shoulder is supposed to be an equal length to the upper arm and then the those two bones together are supposed to form a 90 degree angle here all right and another good way to you know look at a dog structure would be draw a plumb line from the back of the shoulder right here all the way down through the point of the elbow all the way down the back side of that leg there okay and then if if you're hitting here and you're hitting here, that means your shoulder layback is really nice, and you know, you, the length of your the length of your upper arm is good. Uh, they're both equal in length. If this is a basically a perfect triangle, right here, okay. So you guys get some practice in, uh, get get some pictures of your dogs and stuff, and and try to break this try to break your dog down and look and see. This is basically what you're supposed to have, all right? So this is the correct shoulder set as far as layback. That's called shoulder layback is when how far that shoulder lays back onto the rib cage, okay? I'll get my marker here in a minute. But anyway, so get some pictures of your dogs, guys. Draw you a couple plumb lines. Figure out where the point of the shoulder is. You know where the point of the elbow is. It's easy. It's right there. It's on the back of their arm, okay? And then figure out where the point... You can feel this little spine. There's a little spine down the center of the of the scapula of their shoulder blade. You can kind of feel on it a little bit and, and follow it up there at the top of the withers, and you can see where the point of the shoulder or the, the top of the withers is too, the, the point of the withers there, top of the shoulder, whatever it's called. So anyway, break your dogs down, get pictures of them from the side that, you know, you can have them well stacked where you actually, you're handling them really good and they're stacked up really, really nice and get that head nice and up, up tall and proud. You don't, because... If your dog is not correctly stacked, okay, if your dog is leaning forward or something like that, then these bones won't be in the correct position for you to break down your dog. If your dog, if your dog is leaning way forward like this, you know, if they're leaning way forward, then these angles are not going to be where they need to be. When a dog is perfectly stacked is when you can do this, is when you can look at this and, and guess your angles on your dog, okay? But this, again, this is the correct shoulder layback of a dog is supposed to lay back 45 degrees and one thing i did not point out was if you use a 90 degree reference here on the ground if your dog was on flat ground okay again 90 90 degrees okay you go up 45 degrees and draw a line through the dog's shoulder and that should meet perfectly through that shoulder blade like we should, like we're looking at right now all right and that's the point of this video the next video which is going to be part two 
I will show you guys a couple examples of a bad shoulder set and uh, I guess examples of like a short upper arm as well just to give you guys a couple different exa different examples and stuff it, and I, f I find it easier if you can if you know what's right it's easier to kind of like know what you lack and know what's wrong with your dogs and what you need to breed for to work on, you know, as far as bettering your program. So again, this is the correct shoulder set, correct bone lengths, correct angles of the front end of your dog. And this is going to help your reach and movement because that dog will be able to, there's a muscle that comes down off the back of the neck or whatever that comes down the neck and, and, uh, is connected to the upper arm here and it pulls the upper arm up so then that dog can reach in movement and this all correlates with the reach and movement of the dog in the front end so it's actually pretty neat when you break these dogs down and you look at the actual structure and stuff and think about the anatomy and whatnot of these dogs and that's really going to help you and you're going to go to the next level with your breedings if you can break dogs down like this Okay, so, but I do find it easier, guys. I find it easier to know what, you're suppo what it's supposed to look like so then when you, when you look at your dog from a side view, you can draw these lines, you can guesstimate your angles and, and kind of see where you're at and you see what you need to improve on. Okay, part two is coming up, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. You can text me. Uh, I'll just write my number down here, 405 five six eight sorry i'm sideways guys six eight four six all right four zero five five six eight six eight four six follow me on instagram bully.barn okay if you have any questions just text me guys seriously part two is coming up on this i'm going to show you guys a couple examples of what a bad shoulder set is and basically what what it would look like if your dog was restricted and didn't have enough reach okay so until next time, you guys have a good one. Part two is coming.